Welcome. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for December 4th, 2018. And I'm Scott Patton, your host, and joining us is Coach Rob. Coach Rob, it's Tuesday. It looks like a, that's kind of like a red chart there. It's, it's dropping like crazy. Uh, were there opportunities to make some money? Big time, big time. And this is the basket, so it's the collection of the best options available for that day. And it depicts essentially what the, the, the best options, best movers are doing. And you can see, Scott, big red day. This is a bad day for investors because their shares are only losing money and value. But for options, this kind of trending day, the software tells you right there, uh, is a huge profit opportunity because of the capability of buying puts where we make our profits when stocks fall uh, in price. So let me start out real quick. We'll just look at these this first hour or so. It was just kind of sideways. There was a little bit of profit potential here in this movement area. So let's let's isolate one stock I want to talk about, Baidu. So we'll bring that guy up off the list. And you can see it followed the market, right? Some These are the stocks that we want to pay most attention to. They follow market trends, big movements. So on the day, absolutely. And this area right here, right around that blue star, is where we're going to isolate and get in. And I'm just going to look at, let's, let's change it to one-minute candles since we're early in the day. And so you can see, we've t I talk... Every time we review one of these, I, I seem to talk about the risk zone, and for good reason. It's risky waters in there. So go for clearer waters. Uh, wait till it gets out of that risk zone, whether that's above with a green trend or below with a, a red trend. Just get out of that risk zone. Let it break out. So here on this candle, it's a pretty good setup. We are below resistance. We got some room to run. We broke the benchmark and the risk zone simultaneously. Uh, with volume, and we've got signal, trend line, everything's everything's setting up in our favor. So let's go ahead and get a put bought for this guy. All right, so that means puts again are options that we make money going down. So let's see what happens with this. I'm starting to it's, it's starting off on a good note, so we're one minute in, and I'm, I'm pushing uh, fast forward one minute at a time, and it's already built up to six minutes, or sorry, six six percent. Oh and then wow! You get a whopper like that, huh? Uh, so those don't happen very often. These big old candles, they just they, they could be a large institution buying a ton of shares. It could just be like a frenzy, like a you know sell-off frenzy in this case because we're going red. People, whatever it is, somebody didn't want any Baidu shares right now. So they sold a bunch at, in a very short amount of time. And that means the price plummeted. And our since we were in a put position on the option side, we just make it we just stood to make a heck of a profit and our value increased a lot. So when this happens, my coaching tip for the day is don't argue with the profits, just go with the obvious exit signal. Let's get out with our 24%. We just made a quarter of our position on top of what we had. Nice. And that only took what, four minutes? Four um, minutes, 24%. Yeah. Everyone should be taking that. Uh, every every time, right? Hundred percent. And let's. We, However, we we have greed, so a lot of people will say, "Oh, I'm just going to go further, baby." It's like a horse race, right? And you can't let you can't let those things dictate those impulses dictate what what you're going to do in your trading because this is your business. Your your money is on the line, and you need to treat it like a professional would. So approach it, be like. Well, that's a pretty obvious decision to make for me, the CEO of my own company. Let me get out. Just because that next candle was red does not prove you wrong. It just means that you had a really good trend and you got out with a nice payday. It, it cascaded down. We already checked it out. We saw it from the end of the day. We know it, it went down a lot more eventually, but it's not worth it to hold for that long. 
the big red trend that we saw on the on the basket earlier to start off with uh, was was mirrored by a lot of the stocks, right? Because they all make up the basket. We 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 seem to gravitate towards stocks a lot, uh, Scott. But four of the big options that we trade here with Day Trader Genius are in indices, right? So each one's an index. So for instance, everyone's familiar with Dow Jones, right? That people hear about it a lot on the news. Uh, the S&P 500 is a, is a commonly known one. That's what we call SPY. That's the option we trade for that. And then there's a couple more. There's Q Power Shares, uh, which is QQQ. And then there's IWM, which during that big market trend down that we explored at the beginning of the video, this one had a really good move. And just because it's an index doesn't mean you can't make a profit off of it. So let's bring up the controller. Let's go back to when that red move happened. And, you know, surprise, surprise, it happened right at the, the crest of an hour. So in this case, it was during lunchtime. And IWM was, was really charging down. And for me, what I'm analyzing at this, in this point is what's the market doing? Market is tied very closely to these indices, and market is really moving red. Looks like a good day. We got some volume kind of at the end of the 11 o'clock hour, and now we're looking at we're looking at IWM being able to break out into new territory. And what I'm seeing here is we get a CLV of zero, which means for the day it's at its lowest point. New territory. Also for this one, just a unique uh, additional bonus uh, examination is what has IWM been doing lately? Well, on the 15 minute chart, which shows a couple of the last days, look at that, look at that buildup, right? It's got- Wow, momentum. that's amazing. I mean, we talk about lower lows and higher highs. This is the epitome of lower lows. So, here as day traders, just real quickly, we don't care about what news might be driving this, about the stocks in this index. It doesn't really matter. We just know for a fact the chart shows it, and we can read the chart. This thing's going down. And now it's breaking out in new territory for the day. I, I like some of that. I got my volume coming back up. Uh, it's an incredibly powerful market moment. So let's, let's get into a put here. And uh, you know these are these are the obvious situations that I coach my students to wait for. And when you wait and you see these moments building, you can get in, and within just a couple of minutes, you're already looking at a really really nice trading day. Market support is holding. We got all of our in indicators still on. I mean, 13% right there in what? Three minutes? Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's a pretty good day. I would be inclined to, I would think about it, but I mean, in this situation, there's room to run. There's 70 cents until the next resistance line. And that's, that's a lot for an index. Uh, and it's just cascading down. There's really nothing in there to stop it. So I would actually hang in on this one and just see how far it went. And, we got a big volume spike. That might be a reason to get out. Bring back the, uh, see where we're at. So we're at 18%. And again, all the action, all the volume is on the seller's side. So there's no, there's no reason at the moment to get out other than you just made 36%. And it's probably, probably a good time. Probably take that before it turns out on you. And you want, you want to get out while the bid is rising on these puts. So. I think we'll call that a good day. Yeah, 36% is pretty nice. And just FYI, I picked IWM out of this giant market movement charge down because it was the best one uh, off the list. It was the best mover. There were a lot of stocks during this time period. Just look at the main list that were wow. all charging down. There's the main list. So we talked about in the last video, <clears throat> which one you're going to pick out of this list. The bottom line is when the my coaching tip for the day is when the market's moving as powerfully as it is in this instance, 
you it's really hard to mess it up. Just go off of your your normal scan. IWM at the 12 o'clock hour was was looking really really good to me. It was at the very top. You see the volume genus was 325. That's a, that's a big factor for me. So yeah, IWM was my choice, but a lot of these were going down 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 at the time. So in other words, you would have made 10% on a whole pile of different stocks if you uh, yeah. if you didn't get into this one. Yep, but, and that's that that's that's those obvious moments that we're always looking for is right. just a hey, market just takes everything down or raises it all up and it's just like fish in a barrel sometimes. Right. Yeah, actually that was exactly the analogy I was thinking about like doesn't really matter which one you get in there uh, in this particular instance, right? You're you're going to be making some money. And when you learn how to pick the better ones, you're going to make more money. And when you learn how to pick the best ones, you're going right. to be, you know, closer. And it's not about maximizing your money because if you're maximizing your money, you're probably going to be losing it because you're going to be trying to wait for that perfect turn, which is too late. Like, you know, Warren Buffett always said, you know, one of his secrets was buying stocks too late and getting out of them too early. <laughs> This is part of what we're talking about too. Is you, you get into the auctions, they're very they move quickly. So you want to get in when you've established your trend, and you want to get out before the trend decides to reverse. And it, it always reverses. Even on this really really red day, you can see there are green candles. So the market doesn't go, you know, it doesn't collapse usually. It moves up and down with a trend of up and down. Yeah, and it'll. You don't know when it's going to come, and while while it matters less, it's always going to matter which stock you pick out of the main list, right? It's yeah. Just the degree to which it matters, and when there's an overwhelming market trend, uh, you have a little bit more margin for error on which one you pick. Right. That was and, that was the point that I was trying to make. But yep, absolutely. You, you made it way better. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm a coach. That's right. Uh, awesome. Well, thank you, Coach Raw. Really appreciate you uh, taking time out of your day and sharing this with us. And thanks for joining us, everybody. This has been the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for December 4th, 2018. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.